Oh man, look at this. I changed the camera angle for the third time. All right, all right, all right. Now I know what some of you might be thinking from the thumbnail. It's a one by four by. It's hard to make a functioning flip gimmick with a unique shape. And before you mention Last Lucifer, shut up. That bay didn't happen because I don't like it. But I do think that this Beyblade is still very solid. Overall, it has some pretty cool aspects to it as well, like the flip gimmick and such. But let's take a look at the layer, which I split the layer into three parts just to simplify everything. So we have a broken part right here. That is fantastic. Let's just put this back on here. But we have the chip. We have the ring, and we have this little support piece, which we're just gonna say right now, this piece does not really matter, and this is a fused layer and chassis just because I wanted this thing to be two layers thick for a unique shape, but um, yeah, so the support piece doesn't matter at all, it's just there to support everything. The chip is actually um, pretty cool in a way, like it's basic, but... It does have the gold streak, and it does have the dark streak. I originally made this black, but I was told that it looked way too dark, so I switched it out to trans red, and it looks really nice. And also, shout out to Diego for giving me that suggestion. So the layer, as you might guess, is based off of Spriggan Requiem and Legend Spriggan. And I think I executed both designs very well. On the Requiem side, it has the white, the gold, the blue, and some rubber on these sides. Not all around the white, just because... I feel like that would make it a bit kind of like tacky and Spriggan Requiem did only have the rubber on like a couple points on the layer so I thought that this was fairly accurate. And then we look at the Legend side which is pretty odd because it has stud up um, details on here which is pretty uncommon um, for the most part like there are some bays that have stud up on the top. Um, like Diego. Wait, hold on. I just realized there's a there's a thing missing. I just realized there's a thing missing. Wait, hold on. It just fell off. The piece just fell off. It's on my desk now. How does how does that happen? Whatever. That is that is odd. But anyway, this side is very similar to Legend Spriggan with like the gold and the black and some silver right here. And I think this looks really nice. Now I don't have Requiem, but I do have. Legend Spriggan to compare it with. Both are very similar, like we have the black Spriggan heads, we have like the gold right here that's supposed to represent the axe, we have this big wall, which it's reversed, it's on the other side on here, this like recoil wall, but this is right spin mode, so I thought why not put it here, you know, just for old time's sake. And you can probably guess how this all works, you put the chip on the side you want the spin direction to be, so this would be left spin, defense mode. Then you put the support piece at the bottom, like this, and then we have the Requiem side right here, and I think this looks really cool. Yeah, not much to really complain about, although it is a bit basic, but I do really like how the Legends side looks, so we just put this on the other side, put this on here, and there you go. We have the Legends side, and it looks a lot better while it's spinning, so... When we get to the test battles, I'm going to be staring at this guy for a while. And the driver also pays homage to Legend Spriggan. It is Merge. It's built the same way as Unite was on Colossal Cthulhu. But I just thought it's a lot more like Merge because of the rubber that's a lot bigger than Unite's. And the color scheme, so it is now Merge. But yeah, that is Sage Spriggan. If Spriggan LBB comments on this video and says that the name's a Naruto reference, I'm gonna lose my mind. Alright, so we're gonna start off in left spin mode for the test spin and battles, and I do want to note, when you're launching this thing, you might want to launch it a bit slow if you want to make it, because sometimes the rubber can hit the stadium floor and it causes the thing to explode. I did, it happened several times um, when I was testing this guy out before, so yeah, keep that in mind could probably just tape it up and fix it, but for now, Hyperion battle. We're gonna battle once against each bay in each spin direction. That was a great launch. You know what, let's, let's see how this turns out. It barely won. Alright, cool. Let's battle against Helios next. This is probably my favorite looking bay. So far. 
killed Helios. That was pretty funny. Ragnarok. It's shaking. And it's done. Okay, just because of the video length, I think I'm only gonna do the battles against these three. Not this, because ew. Um, but, let's switch it to right spin mode. There we go. Now let's do the test spin and test battles. That looks nice, dude. I really like how that play looks. It just looks so much like Legend's Dragon, which of course that's what I'm going for, so get the pass from me. That wasn't fun. Let's do a let's do a better battle. Oh. Oh. Okay. That happened. This little slope came off. No biggie. Let's just put it back on. All right. Nice. It bent the thing on my hearing too. That's nice. Break Helios, why don't you? Wait a minute, I just realized it's like Red Eye with Leg Legend Requiem, Red Eye Beyblade, Breaking Beyblades, Beyblade Burst, God Beyblade. <sighs> Ragnarok. It just killed all of Ragnarok's stamina, jeez. We're skipping all the battles with Minabaros because when I was launching it, it broke right here, so I don't think I want to use this Beyblade that much anymore. Sorry, I love the design, but I think he needs a vacation. Apart from that, though, that was my review on Sage Spriggan. Overall, it's a pretty neat bay with the flip gimmick and merge is fun to use. Um, sure, 1x4 bays are basic, but sometimes you just gotta go back to square one. If you enjoyed that video, comment, like, subscribe whatever you want. How did this become my outro after a year of uploading? 